Hey everybody, so today I have a new waterproof case to show you for your phone. Uh, this is going to be meant for if you're going to go out and you're going to get in the water, you're going to go in the ocean, whatever it might be. Uh, this will help make your phone waterproof if it isn't, and it will protect your phone if it is. Now, some people might be asking, but my phone's already waterproof, why do I need that? And I could give you just a really quick story as I open this up. My sister, she went to Cancun a couple years ago, and uh, she, went, she went snorkeling. Her phone had a hairline crack in it. Her phone was completely destroyed and she lost everything. And seawater is pretty harsh. So I definitely recommend to have a little case of some sort when you're in, especially salt water. So inside, you're gonna get two of these. So you could get you could get a pack of these and this will take care of you and your partner or you and whoever is gonna be with you. Or maybe you just wanna have two different devices in it, you can. To use these, they are very, very simple. I have used similar ones before. So all you gotta do is you're gonna look and it's gonna have like an open and close. It's got these little tabs and you'll just be able to flip them with them upwards or outwards. It's gonna be unlocked. And then from there, you can open it up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this card from here. And let's go ahead and throw a phone in. I'm also leaving the case on so we can kind of get an idea of how that fits as well. And this is an iPhone 13 Pro Max. You're gonna feed those little clips through the holes there and then close it up and just snap them down. And now that's gonna make it waterproof. Now with the case, it is a little bit tighter in there. If you're gonna have a thick case, like an OtterBox or something like that, you're probably not gonna be able to use it with the case. You're probably gonna to have to remove it. This one is just a really simple, thinner MagSafe case that I have. And uh, yeah, I think an OtterBox will not fit in here at all. But anyway, this is, like I said, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But let's go ahead and we'll test it out. So it says that it will work fine with the finger or with touchscreen, which I need to unlock it. So it looks like we can easily control it with it in the bag, which is really nice. The other thing I'm gonna do, I forgot to put in there. I'm gonna throw a piece of paper in there. That way, if water gets in there, we'll know for sure. Now, I'm not gonna go diving into the ocean for this video, but uh, I do have a tub of water. I'll throw it in and you know what, let's go ahead and let's do, let's do some recording here. Hey. Right. And we'll drop it in. Okay, so it's definitely not floating, but let's go ahead and I'll just leave it for a few minutes. I'm not overly worried, I got Apple Care if I have to, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in here for a few minutes and we'll come back and we'll see if it's still dry. All right, we are back and we are going to test it. All right, so looking at it, so far it looks like the uh, paper is nice and dry. I'm gonna dry off the case itself, that way when I'm opening it up, I'm not actually putting water into it and onto the phone. All right, so conclusion, it does work. It is waterproof. My paper was dry, my phone was dry. And uh, now I do recommend if you're gonna use a larger phone such as like the iPhone 13 Pro Max or if you're gonna use like a S22 Ultra, something like that, I would probably recommend taking it out of the case because it's not gonna fit in here very well. It's gonna be really tight. And it's not gonna fit at all if you have certain cases that are a little bit larger. I also forgot to, I did forget to mention that it does have lanyards where you can have it around your neck as well. Anyway, if you're looking for a pretty basic waterproof case that you could use to go out into the water, the Johto will work.